Transmitting final briefing. As of now, Airborne Squad 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District 3. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nativa. Pods entering atmosphere. One minute until threshold is reached. Zero seven five three one. Pod landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. The hatch. Come on. Come on. Tucky. Eve, are you all right? This place is dangerous. Take my hand.
Are you all right, Eve? Uh, my body frame. Take this. It's first aid. Thank you. Let's get out of here before more of them show up. You secured. Rendezvous point in sight. This way! Watch out for Gardner's interception. Life signs. We're the only two left. Eve. Eve, pull yourself together. Taki. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then... <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Eve, are you all right? Get 
out of here. Ducky! It's quiet. Still, make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT buy is. Now, get ready. I'll be supporting with the drone. So this must be 8 or 7. Yes. This was the final battlefield of civilization. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. This must be Earth's rain. We can admire the scenery later. We have a job to do here. The terrain data has changed recently. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. From here on, you have to stay alert, Eve. Fusion cell? It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh. It's the previous generation of the Infinity Cell. Be sure to keep that. It's very valuable. Damn. It's a trap! Supply camp? In a place like this? Supply camp? What's that? It's a depot. Set up by the airborne squad who came here before. Huh. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. How come they set up a camp in a corner like this? Well, the supply camp also serves as an important base. Is this parking lot important? It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. Then I guess this place could be useful for us. Adam? Yeah? About yesterday. 
Thank you for saving me. That's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. That now means we can help each other. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. Look! That's not an ordinary enemy! Adam, get back! Amazing. It wasn't an Alpha Nativa. It wasn't, but still so strong. Things will only get harder. Maybe. Anyway, please show me the next route, Adam. Right, hold on. Let me take a look at the map data. As the crow flies, the Hall of Records isn't too far from here. But an entire block is submerged. We have to find a way to cross. Are you saying that there's no way? I found it. Do you see the sign behind the stone statue? There's a transportation device there that you can use. What? You really think that these abandoned devices are still going to work? Well, the supply camp was in one piece. Let's just try to stay positive. Uh huh. Positive. Sure. Adam. I was very surprised when I first met you. Why? Back in the colony, we learned that everyone on Earth was completely wiped out. I'm sure it must have seemed that way. But you can't expect Mother's Fear to know everything. Then there are other survivors out there. Like you. Yes, but it's rare to see them. Earth is still pretty inhospitable to humans. Something is heading our way. Don't worry, it's the monorail. This ancient electronic device is our transport. All right then, after you. remembering something from yesterday. This city, it's so quiet, and so lonesome. Well, that's what happens when a city becomes devoid of humanity. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nativa? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. All we must do is complete the mission. You mean, the extinction of all Natibas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. <laughs> no fun in that.
We're here. Do you want to get off? Looks like this used to be a plaza. You're right. Except it's underwater now. The good thing is you won't have to go in the water. The Hall of Records is that way. Adam, do you meet Airborne Squad members from the colony often? No, not really. Yesterday I just happened to be around the area. I've never seen such a large-scale airborne operation. Why did you save me? Hmm. I'm not really sure. It just felt right. Like I was meant to. It's hard to describe. It's just a short, intense feeling. <laughs> Everything looks like an apocalypse. What? Nothing. Just talking to myself. It's a victory monument. The Hall of Records is under there. We'll head down to the Hall of Records now. I can't believe we're in the Hall of Records. It's like a dream. Now, all we have to do is find the hyperdrive. At the start of the 22nd century, humanity's right to life was threatened by advanced global warming. Having foreseen this, Mother Sphere ensured mankind could meet this challenge. The eons-long process of natural adaptation resolved near instantly. The body cell replaced the heart and made it possible to survive in environments without oxygen or water. Thanks to advances in biotechnology and nanotechnology, the inconveniences of aging and disease were a thing of the past. This created giant leaps forward in the development of hazardous industrial spaces and space itself. We can now withstand the crushing pressures of the deepest oceans and even exit a space station without the need of a spacesuit. Humanity's greatest and only hope for survival can be found in Mother Sphere. Please, enjoy the harmony and prosperity of ADOS 7, the first city ever built by Mother Sphere, the mother of... I have no idea what that was all about. Adam, did it make any sense to you? Mankind's past was buried with the final war. This must be a video from before that time. Hypercell. Is this what you're looking for? Yes. You can extract it from the hyperdrive. Great. We accomplished our first objective. Let's go before the emergency power runs out. Got it. The Hypercell. 
This is going to do a lot of good. Eve, thank you. Um, okay. Then, can you tell me where the Alpha Natiba is? <laughs> of course. It isn't far. come quite far. How much more do we have to go? We just have to pass that sewage facility. There must be a way to get across. We can build ourselves a bridge if we use that crane. Oh, we need an ID card if we want to operate it. Three of them, actually. If the ID cards are needed for the crane, then they should be nearby. I'll look for the closest one first. Okay. You can take your time. Wow. What a view. I wonder what it looked like before the war. <laughs> what do you think it looked like? Well, probably upright buildings, well manicured flora, and living people. That's it? You have no imagination. Then again, I guess you've never been here before. Imagine bustling streets, crystal clean air, and people smiling everywhere you look. Have you ever seen something like that before, Adam? Yes. A long time ago. <sighs> We're finally outside. See that crater over there? That area is Alpha Natiba territory. What's a drop pod doing there? It was abandoned a long time ago. Matter of fact, it's what made this crater. Wait, that's a 5th Airborne Squad drop pod. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> hmm. Let's see what's here. Wait, I hear something. Eve, look up! My goodness. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Natiba. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core. If she were... Eve. Hmm? 
there's something you need to know. The truth is... Hello? Here! Can somebody rescue me? Please? A human voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. What the? Uh, A survivor from the airborne squad. Uh, were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the 7th Airborne Squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad. Lily Artemis II. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> so just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes. Thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Orko who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Call. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes. I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right, then. Let's head to Zion. Yes! Surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight.
Wow, a whole city underneath the wasteland. It's amazing. Even in the darkest times, it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct. So, where do we go? No time for breaks. Typical Eve. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. Oh. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Netiba. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well, then I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... How do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell.
Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma. Outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my Presto link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh. This here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir. A place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Oh, I feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ava, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the Tetrapod. Halt. This is a restricted area. I haven't seen you around Zion before. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? 
Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the Prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. Anya, you okay? There was a time when this bar used to be full of people. Now it's just so empty. Empty and dark. And Enya, same story. I wonder how long she can keep singing with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. I'm trying to be sensitive, but if you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? But I... I have no way to repay you. No, I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? Ah, Angel. Lovely to meet you. You... You don't seem very likable. <laughs> All right. You're pretty sharp. I've heard it before. Folks often compare me to a snake. I'm Roxanne. Consider me a kind of info dealer. Info dealer? Yes. Practical things. Gossip, blackmail, fears, weaknesses. I dabble in a bit of everything. Oh, I do like this angel. You really are my favorite customer. Ah, uh, Angel! I, I can't believe the Angel is here. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. At least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm, uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? Oh, no, no, no. You, you can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. O of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I now? Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right, one day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the wasteland when I ran into some Natibas. I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Thank you very much! Oh! Eve! Come take a look! Come! Huh. A drone? Stretch your arm out in front of you. Drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. 
It's an all-new, upgraded Drone 2.0 that can launch long-range projectiles. No, this is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> now try hitting the target. <laughs> Great! Straight on target again! Let's try again. Perfect! That's amazing, Lily. Colony Tech at your service. What do you think? <laughs> Damn kid. Tinkering with my drone. It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition. Lily, I have to ask you something. I found someone who's been injured very badly. She's too weak to speak, and there's no chance of her moving. The technology here won't do. Do you think you might be able to help somehow? Well, yes. But do you really think this is a good time? The people here, they have negative feelings towards the colony. Many of them think they were abandoned. I want them to see that our mission isn't just for the sake of appearances. Our mission is to save mankind. Ah, yep. Typical Eve. <laughs> I can give it a try, but I can't guarantee a complete recovery. Also, there's a lot I'll need to prepare. I understand. Just tell me what you need. I'll send over the list. And please try not to spend too much time on this. After all, we still have a mission to complete. I know. Thank you. I brought back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. How was your walk around the city? It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the Wasteland, Adam. Well... There are still some issues with the Tetrapod steering system. So I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then when will you be ready? Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the Wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Eve, please be careful. Yes, thank you. The Wasteland is that way. The lone and level sands stretch far away. This is the largest land I've ever seen in my life. And yet danger lurks around every corner. Watch your step. If you trip, you might find yourself caught in the arms of death. All right. I've entered the scant coordinates of Altus Lavoir. Let's go. Kaya, this is the trunk, right? The bike isn't salvageable. It's too badly damaged. It's fine. The trunk is much more important to me. It, it's just, it belonged to my sister. When I first lost it, I didn't know what to do. I thought I'd never see it again. 
I can't believe you found it. You're amazing, Angel. It's nothing. I'm sure you'll help me later on anyway. If you ever need help again, let me know. Yes, Angel. Lily, preparations are complete. All right then, we're good to go. Would you mind bringing the patient here while I prepare for the process? I'll bring her right now. did everything I could. It's not perfect, but the patient should be in much better shape now. Sue, are you there? I... I can feel you. Enya, are you alright? Enya. Yes, your hands. They're very warm. It's been so long. Enya. Eve. It's starting to come back to me. You helped me. I would like to repay your kindness, but I don't have anything to offer. The only thing I can do is sing. Your song is more than enough. Also, you should be thanking Lily, not me. She's the one who really saved you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Digger. As you can see, I've been involved in an accident. I kindly request your assistance. I don't think I should attack this drone. Smaller drones don't usually have a language system installed. What's going on here? I told you you were gonna like this. I'm currently incapable of projected conversation. Energy levels low. I will remain unable to escape unless you perform a manual reset on the claw crane system. Please operate the ticker, buzzer, and clunker in that order. They're located here at this dump site. I kindly request your assistance. All right. so much for your help. Hello, Adam. It has been some time. Would you kindly introduce me to this lady? Of course, uh, what's the word? Oh yeah, Angel. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the Eve Airborne Squad. I'm Eve. What happened to you? Drones like you aren't supposed to work this way. Hello, Eve. I am Digger. I have innumerable thoughts concerning my existence, and I am capable of making fantastic plans. I told you this would be fun. You see what I mean? Adam, please don't interrupt. Eve, someday I would appreciate the opportunity to sit, at length, and share with you my fantabulous hypothesis. I thank you again for your assistance. May our relationship continue to prove constructive. I am willing to provide useful resources. Okay. Do you need a security code? No, but getting ourselves inside might prove to be a bit of a challenge. Huh? Hot, outsider. Huh? Who are you? I'm Royal Guard Quiel. I'm under direct orders from Oracle to protect the ruins. Do you know this is a restricted area? Wait, wait, but we are here to do a favor for Oracle? Even so, I can't let anyone in who isn't qualified. Qualified? If you manage to defeat me, I'll let you pass. Well, if that's the case...
Very good. I underestimated your ability to fight on equal footing with the Alpha Natiba. It was an honor to spar with you. We can enter now, right? Yes. Altes Lavoir has been contaminated by Natibas for a long time. No one has ever made it back alive. However, with you, I have hope. Be careful. Do you want to take the test again? Blade stopped working all of a sudden. The drone scan isn't working either. Hold on. This is bad. There's an unusual electromagnetic security field disrupting the system. There should be Natibas around here. Ah, equipping the drone is still possible. Same goes for shooting at range. I guess we should thank Lily for that. That's more than enough. Entering now. Hypercell's preservation status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. There's... There's a legacy here. A legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But... Why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Danis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory, 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created, the so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. 
And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting. As expected, my eyes did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. I'll leave this one to you as well. Let's go to the hyperdrive. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. Yes, what we're doing is really worth it. Once again, thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait, he will give you an answer. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. I am detecting the frequencies of an Alpha Nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11. I will forward the map data to the Tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Nativa's location. Well, thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. <clears throat> I wish you luck. The town seems different. I see more people, more signs. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear, to be honest. I was getting a bit anxious. I'm heading over to the Tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the new scenery? Enya, what is it? Eve. What's wrong? You're not singing like usual. Well, the thing is, it's Sue. He hasn't come here recently. I've also heard that he's seeing someone else. Do you... do you think he will abandon me? I don't think Sue would do a thing like that. Please, don't worry. This might just be a misunderstanding. Where exactly did you hear this? I heard it from Bo, one of Sue's colleagues. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay, just hang on. There's no reason to be so anxious. Thank you very much. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting for this. Are you ready to leave? All preparations are complete. Finally! Looks like the time has come to test out the Alpha Signal Meter. Yes, and if it functions as intended, things should be a lot easier. All right, let me take you to Matrix 11.
building is old. Most things don't even work. An underground facility? Is it some kind of bunker? It became one, yeah, but it was a subway station first. The subway moves people around the city using a web-like system. Or, well, it used to do that. All right, then. Let's go get us an alpha core. Hold on. I heard something. Behind you! dead body as its host. Stay close to me. Oh! Uh, are you alright? That's enough excitement for one day. a core signal coming from below. I'm thinking we're gonna need to cut through the sewer system. Another sewer. I'd like to avoid getting wet. This transportation network was built on top of the sewer system. If you don't like it, we can always find another way. Uh, what was that sound? Uh, Noise. It... it isn't normal. Why is that sound coming from the airborne squad channel? Natiba shouldn't be able to hack communication lines. Huh? That sound and the negative pattern from the Alpha Court match. What the hell? What exactly is happening down there? We'll have to find out ourselves. Let's hurry. Just as I thought, groups of survivors were set up here. From the looks of it, this place has been abandoned for a long time. Then, why do I feel warm? Well, let's take a look around. This is... It's a place to honor the dead. 
They're still waiting for the salvation Mother Sphere promised them. There. I want to send the memories left here to Mother Sphere. That's where they belong. I'll help. Me too, me too. Thank you, both of you. A challenge. We're very close to the Alpha signal. It looks like the Alpha Natiba is just up these stairs. Eve, look at this. This is a second Airborne Squad legacy. Let's check it out. Maybe we'll be able to finally solve the mystery of that last legacy. Wait, hold on a minute. Playing it here could provoke the other Nativas. Don't worry. We'll still have time to check the legacy after retrieving the Alpha Core. Yes. For now, we should focus on fighting the Alpha Nativa. I'll hold on to it. Let's go. What is this place? This is an ancient water purification system. This is the source of the contamination. Yes, we're finally here. hanging in the air. 
looks like a human. I think they're alive. What should we do? We have to save them from the contaminant. Ah! Ah! What's that noise? Ah! 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 No, there's no way. That's impossible. It's over. Yes. Eve. The subjugation is being lifted. Will the memory stick be destroyed? Because it's already contaminated. <sighs> no, it won't be. In that case, I'll be floating among the stars. To space. Taki! <sighs> I promise, Taki. May your memories live on. Forever.
an airborne squad member who themselves became an Alpha Nativa. Is this the work of the Elder? Hmm. Could I take a look at her memory stick? Here. It feels different from the Elder Nitiba. I can dimly make out the image of a Nitiba bearing black wings. Black wings? It's the one that attacked Taki and me. It has to be. But why? I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. Why? Why does it hate us? It's not unusual for Natibas to find themselves at odds with humans. But this... Can you locate it? It is not yet within the scope of my personal link. The same goes for the other Alpha Natiba. Alright then. We'll need another hypercell. Where should we go this time? This time, the hypercell is it. The easternmost reaches of the desert, Abyss Lavoir. This one won't be easy either. Let's hurry. Uh, yes. As you know from first hand experience, it is not an easy fight. I'm aware of that, but I promise. I will find it, and I will make it pay. That's the kind of mistake you can't make twice. What? What did you say? Nothing. Let's just prepare ourselves to go to Lavoir. Come to the safe house when you're ready to leave. What's the matter? Don't be shy, you can tell me. Well, thing is, obviously I'm just grateful you visit my shop, but I, um, I have a favor to ask. Go ahead. So, I know that retrieving that trunk was dangerous enough, but then this next job might be even scarier than that. It's about your sister, isn't that right? Yes. My sister and I were exploring the northern region of the Great Desert. A scary monster ambushed us. We ran away and then we got separated. I ran through the desert and headed straight back to Zion. After that day, Captain Man forbade us from ever going back to the Great Desert again. Angel, I'm telling you my sister is alive. She's just lost, that's all. She just needs someone to help her find her way home. Could you go and find her for me, please? Kaya, that's... <sighs> Fine. You said the northern region of the Great Desert, right? Yes, Angel. I'll be able to see my sister again. Thanks to you. Eve, I've been waiting for you. Do you have good news? I do. Well, I finished customizing the Taki device. So, you can now use Taki's weapon and skills. Really? I didn't think that kind of thing would be possible. That's amazing, Lily. I'm sure Taki would have been happy to see this. Good work. Eve, Lily, I just realized we forgot about the legacy we retrieved at the Matrix. That's right! We left it in the Tetrapod! I'll go and get it. Great. Let's check it out. I'm worried about what this one is going to be about. Day 52. After the second dive, fifth record. 
Legacy account, Raven. I am the lone survivor. The truth. The truth always lets me down. I have gathered a good amount of information from the lab's records and the memories of Legion's soldiers. We've always followed the instructions of Mother Sphere to the letter. She was our guiding light, our salvation, our god. However, in truth, Mother Sphere was a powerful artificial intelligence created by mankind. In the distant past, there was an engineer named Raphael Marx. He was her creator. Mother Sphere brought great prosperity to mankind, but she seemed to have changed her mind upon the creation of Andro Ados, her self-made counterpart. After seeing the limits of humanity and the potential of Andro Ados, she decided there was no room to spare for mankind. Our god is not the god of humans. Then why? Why do we worship Mother Sphere? I don't know anymore. The more I learn, the more questions I'm left with. Everything puzzles me. Mother Sphere. A being that was created. With our own hands. But why would she want to destroy us? This information is full of errors. It's just not credible. Usually, things only exist because people make them. Like us. How dare you! That's blasphemy! Sacrilege! Uh, right. Sorry. But the truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. The grace of Mother Sphere is a fiction. At least for the humans left here. Maybe you two will come to feel this way. What? <laughs> Lily, Adam. This isn't the whole story. We don't even know if this is true. Ah, yes. You're right. We need more information. Adam, please take me to Abyss Lavoie. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting for this. Are you ready to leave? Ah, damn it. Looks like the engine was damaged from all the sand. We'll have to walk from here. Are you okay with that, Eve? No problem. Please support me with the drone. All right. You can trust me. I'm here too. Don't you worry. 
Even seasoned scavengers get lost in the Great Desert. But we have a map now, so that isn't going to happen to us. Hey, you can't be out here like this. An Atiba might find you at any... <sighs> what? Why is that so important to you? Hey, can you hear me? Mm. That's a surprise. Are all angels so insistently talented at everything they do? You're surprised? That's hardly something I'd expect someone sitting in a place like this to say. After the colony extinction took everything away, fishing was really all I had left. Ruined streams in the city, underground reservoirs, barren shores. I wandered all over the place, my trusty fishing rod in tow. Frankly, I think I'd already given up by then. That's... Well, that was practically a lifetime ago. I've been here for a while now. Feast your eyes. Water's clear. Beautiful. The whole world's a dump. I can't think of a better place to spend one's time. Mother Spheres will be damned. I used to curse everything in sight. But if it was her will that led me to this place, I think I can live with that. You... I see. You've got quite a story. Everybody's got a story, world being how it is. Same for you, right? Now, I'm not one to make assumptions about the future plans of an angel. But come and see me again, if fishing interests you. Anyway. Do I have to go through another test? Yes. There cannot be any exceptions. Then let's not waste any time. <laughs> Just as I heard, outsider. Hm. This place is deeper and darker than the last. Please, be careful. No blade, just like an Altes Yep, no drone scanner either. Lily, are you feeling in for Adam? Yeah, he's busy fixing the tetrapod again. Ah, all right. I know I'm in safe hands with you, Lily. Cell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive, eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race 
with Mother Sphere at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some led by Raphael Marx waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I... I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be... Andro-Ados? Are we Andro-Ados? The creatures brought into existence, created by Mother Sphere. No! We're humans! Humans with complete bodies, perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space. But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then... Why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that. You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Orkel. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... 
The reason is unknown. However, at some point, Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Nitibas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Nitiba cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? still doesn't change the fact that Natibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Natiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. So, you are leaving them? Mm-hmm. I'd like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Natibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Eve, make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving. Lily, have you seen Adam? Uh, he was right here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll show up soon. While we wait, should we check the main body frame? So, Eve, because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data, we can now distribute the body cell's power for greater offensive capabilities. It might add some stress, but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine. That'll be of great help during combat. Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Are you already prepared to leave? Mm-hmm. Just finished. And you, Lily? We're going to be so close to the colony. It's just a lot for me to process. There's no need to overthink it. Eve is the one going to space anyway. You and I will be waiting in the tetrapod. I know, but... Well, we'll see what she sees. So physical distance won't really matter. Okay? Let's go. Hello. Hi, Kaya. I'm doing all right. It would be nice. You're here, Angel. What about my sister? Kaya. Well... There isn't an easy way to say this, so take this. Oh, this... this is a memory stick. That means... Yes. I took out an Atiba called Behemoth and retrieved it from the area. Please consider her death avenged. Avenged? Huh? Is... is that what it is? Actually, I figured this would happen. I knew my sister couldn't have survived like that. I 
was just hoping for the best. But I guess all I was doing was just denying reality. Kaya. It, it's okay. The important thing is that I have my sister's memories back. Her memory will live on in me, running our establishment together. Thank you, Angel. Please, come back again soon. Who... who is it? Oh, there he is. Sue, it's me. How are you? A Angel, how? Well, I guess you've already figured everything out, if you manage to find me here. As you can see, I let my guard down. I'm lucky to be alive, but I couldn't fight after my right arm was injured. All I could do was run and hide here. I barely made it, but I managed to get the parts for Enya's legs. Though it was pointless, I wasn't strong enough to get back. What possessed you to do something so dangerous? And without even telling Enya? Well, I... I wasn't able to do anything for Enya. If it wasn't for you, I... I would have... I would... Uh, stop talking like that! Oh. <sighs> Let's go back. Right now. Enya needs you. Eve! Eve! What... what happened to Sue? Nothing bad happened to him, right? No. Don't worry. He was out on a ridiculous expedition. Searching for some rare equipment that would help you walk. What? Then things took a turn for the worse, and he found himself trapped in the wasteland. Sue, won't you come in? Do you want to tell her the rest? So... Sue... I'm... sorry. You... you thought I wanted to walk? W well Of course I do. But... Uh... well... Walking is meaningless if it means losing you. Anya... I'm sorry. I felt so useless just waiting around, watching. I wanted to help. I just... I just wanted to see you walk again. That's all. Really. I'm sorry. Never do that again. I mean it. Never again. Time has finally come to test the Fantabulous Hypothesis. Come again? The Fantab... Oh, that thing you mentioned before. By the way, is that even a word? That is irrelevant. What is relevant is how my Fantabulous Hypothesis could hold the solution to my problems. This is a device of my own creation. It is called a connection device. I designed it to transmit network bandwidth signals to Earth's orbit, and allow me to directly contact Mother Sphere. Digger, you can't be serious. If you were to suffer an attack from the security system, it could fry your quantum brain. I am aware of that. My objective is to simply bring the network back online, even if only for a brief moment. Either my sentience will be regarded as a bug, and I will be reset to factory settings. Or Mother Spear will give me my answer, and my happily ever after. Preparations are almost complete. However, Eve, 
I must first acquire the network access code in order to utilize the access node. The solar tower in the wasteland, Zion's scrap market, and the oasis of the great desert. These locations are where I last detected traces of it. <sighs> this is not going to end well. Perfect. Eve, I'll finish configuring the device now. Now, I just need your help with one last thing. What now? It's a simple task. I need you to enter the network code and activate the communication node. And I will be entering standby mode for the network connection. Right. If you insist. If anything goes wrong, it's not- Your concern is appreciated. But I don't anticipate any serious problems. You okay? That's a relief. Only the network device was destroyed. So, how'd it go? I am still myself. I was unable to revert to IoT mode. However, nothing has changed. My hypothesis. Unfortunately, I am even more confused about what happened to me. Well, what were you expecting? Considering the nature of artificial intelligence, trying to find the reason why consciousness forms isn't going to help you decide whether you're human or not. I think Adam is right. Why don't you try something else? Maybe you could watch the citizens of Zion as they go about their lives. You haven't made much headway on your own. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your advice. I must prepare for my migration to try something new. Enya, seeing you stand and walk like this, I just... it's good to see. So, just what is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. At one point, a small drone came to the bar. A drone? Oh, do you mean Digger? The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song, then just left. I've done everything I can, but I can't seem to find that drone. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this. If it has something to do with my lost memories, do you think you can get more details from the drone? Well, Digger should be in Zion. It shouldn't be too difficult to find out. Oh, thank goodness. I'll let you know the second I hear anything. In the meantime, you should head back. Best to stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, always. Digger, you were the one who spoke with Enya, right? Yes. Artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No, 
The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told any. All right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. Eve, how did everything go? Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. It's about you. About your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. You were featured in a piece titled Madama Machine. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond Fate? Is that so? Yes, though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Mm. Beyond fate. My past self could be urging me with those very same words. To try and make peace with the past I've lost and accept what I have now. <sighs> it seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose you're right. Eve, thank you. You've done so much for us. All right, take this data. What is stored there will help you fully restore beyond fate. Okay, thank you, Eve. If I may, could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to.
Angel, that's great. I thought you were joking when you first got your hands on a fishing rod. Who's laughing now? Amazing. Gotta admit, you're good. Really? I didn't think you would say that. I suppose there's something more to it, given that you brought it up. <laughs> yes. Uh, didn't I tell you before? I'm gonna give you the fisherman's dream. You can think of it as my ultimate tool. The ultimate tool? Is it a rare fishing rod? Or a special reel? Or maybe... Do you have access to sonar technology? You should expect good things. This... This... This is a nano-suit. It looks like it's specifically designed for water. Is that right? I got it ages ago. I knew it was a nano-suit from the tag, but it's not something I can use. Angel, this is something I think you should wear. Hmm. Wait. This... Hey! This... This is the fisherman's dream. Your ultimate tool. <laughs> the look on your face. I've stupefied the angel. If this isn't the ultimate tool, I don't know what is. <sighs> I certainly didn't expect you, of all people, to pull a prank like this. I'm flattered you thought so highly of me. Just be glad I didn't cut you in half for this. Understand? Hey, just a reminder. We're heading into space, so expect the journey to be a long one. We should try to take care of everything you need to in Zion before we leave. Eve? Adam? Wait! Huh? What's going on? I have a request. There's somewhere I'd like to visit before we leave. Hmm? Huh? Where? Can we possibly make a stop at Ados 9? Please? That shouldn't be a problem. Can I ask why? There's a workshop there. A place that I was hiding in. There's something I really want to bring with me. All right. If you really need it, Lily. Thank you. Swarming with aerial interception natives. Getting close is gonna be tough. Can't we make a detour or something? I think the other routes are the same. I'll go down and resolve this. We'll meet up when it's done. Goodness, it's full of plants and little birds. Welcome to Lily's Atelier. This is my favorite green garden. Have a look around. I'll just head over to the secret workroom in the meantime. Been to such a beautiful place. To think rare plants like these could grow in such a place. It feels different here. I can see how much Lily cares about this place. Yeah, I know. It's like a special haven for her. Shame this hasn't been shown to others. Are you 
done looking around? Take a good long look around if... Done looking around? I should gather a few samples just in case. Got everything? Yes, except one thing. What is it? Actually, I wasn't alone here. I had a colleague who also survived. Iberus. Colony's greatest hacker. Comrade I cared most about. She fell asleep a year ago due to body cell damage. Lily. Sorry for leaving you all alone, Iberus. I'll come and visit you often. This contains a deep algorithm hacking system, along with Iberus's memories. This is what she left for the world. Her legacy. Mm. Thank you for waiting. Let's go now. Goodbye. So, are you saying that's where the Alpha Core is? Adam, are you listening to me? Oh, sorry. I got a message from Zion. Is everything all right? Something serious seems to have happened. I... I have to return to Zion. What? But we've come this far. Okay, I'll go on alone. If I were to go back to Zion now, there's no way to know how things will change. Eve. Drop me off, then head back to Zion. It's fine. I can do this alone. Wait. I think I have a really great idea. You could leave the drone operation to me. Adam can take the hover bike back to Zion while I operate. A perfect plan, right? Lily, not just anyone is able to operate drones. You need a wide field of view, the ability to make smart decisions fast, and... And the stabilizer, scanner, and link sensors do all the work for you. How... how did you...? I figured it all out while modifying the railgun. Went for some test drives, too. It still doesn't compare to the knowledge you gain from real experience. Do you agree with Lily's idea, Eve? 
Adam, you can trust us. Go. Okay, okay. Fine. You win. Don't overdo anything while I'm gone. I'm looking at you, Lily. elevator it was operational until recently it's still transferring power from fusion cells dumping empty boxes out into space Behind me, right? Can we please, please slow down? No! Oh, what is that? <laughs>
Lily, what's this place for? This is where resources and raw materials are sent to the orbit elevator. Lily, there's a strange device up ahead. Just a moment, please. I just need to separate the object from the map data. Oh, wow! It's a security turret that fires plasma. I'll handle it. Huh? If you do that, they might find you. Huh? If you do that, they might find you. Just got lucky. All right then, this way. Ah! Lily, I'm okay. Watch out! <laughs> Above you. <laughs> we have to get out of here. Come on. Good now. I'm getting nervous. Let's get moving. Agreed. I can see the space center over there. something is coming. Relax yet. Keep your guard up, Lily. Of course. We made it to the space center. This is the orbit elevator. Contamination is spreading here as well. And it seems to be much worse. Right, shall we go? Lily! 
I didn't think it was going to be this powerful. My arm, it feels strange. The body cell is overloaded. The drone is unstable as well. Will I be able to overcharge again? Maybe once or twice, but no more. Okay, I'll have to save it. If it's not one thing, it's another. Guess I'm not surprised. Welcome home, Master. Uh, who's that? Welcome back to Orca Aerospace. I am your humble maid, Arisa. I am the guide for the VIP room. As a code red has been issued across the facility, all passenger transport has been suspended. Master, if you would please wait inside a lift until everything is safe. The second floor is the family suite. If you'd like to take them to see you, you can always open the rear shield screen. Is that so? Arissa, please open the shield screen. Understood. Now opening screen. Wow! It's amazing! I've never seen a view like this before. We're new to, well, pretty much everything here. It's beautiful. I hope you have a most comfortable trip. Status of the railgun. Sure. Booster, cooling system, sensors, we're all looking fine. We just need to be careful with the power overload. heard something. I'm not getting a single signal. <sighs> wow. The atmosphere here is so unique. And it's in pretty good shape. I think it should smell nice, too. Yeah, I smell flowers. But... Ah? Uh, something's fishy. Oh, come on! These are all fake! I guess even the VIPs couldn't see the real ones. Ah! 
Lily! Lily? Do you hear me? Lily? Targeting the drone first. They're getting smarter. You're definitely not ordinary. Lily. Lily. Oh, it's connected. Whew. I can see now. What happened, Eve? It was an Atiba ambush. I knew it. Well, are you all right? Yes. It was nothing. I'll give you the details on the way up. Did we make it? We did. But... There's a strong electromagnetic field surrounding this place. It feels just like the eye of a hurricane. Over there! My goodness! What did you... What have you done to yourself? I see you. All that pain. I'll put an end to it. Real Alpha. Uh, we're in low orbit, so gravity is still an issue. At this rate... We can't just leave the Alpha Natiba here. Lily, use all my body cell power to overcharge the railgun. What? But there's no way you'll survive! It's okay. This is what I was born to do. <sighs> Lily, please! Body cell connection. Full power overcharge ready. Liberty body cell connect. It's charging right now. Charging complete. Lily, my attack was blocked. Find a way to open its eye again. I'm analyzing it now. I've got it. The eyes and its spies are connected to the nerve system. A direct hit. Losing nerve connection. Just one more left.
it, but I can't get to the core. I'm so, so sorry. It's a signal from the colony. Please hang in there. I sent out an SOS to the colony. Please, somebody, anybody, we need help! Thank you for coming back alive. It was Mother's fear. She must have heard me. No, Lily. It's thanks to you. I was able to come back because of you. Thank you. And Adam? I haven't had any contact with him since then. I can't even reach him through the emergency communication line. What do you think happened? I wonder if something happened to him in Zion. Could it be? Yes? Nothing. Come on, we've got to hurry. Goodness! Silence! Oh, Lily. Is this what Adam was talking about? We have to go down. signal coming from the presence chamber. Oh, cool. He could be. I'll try to do something here with the exosuit. Eve, hurry to the presence chamber. Okay, I'm going. Be careful, Lily. Killed Taki. And now, destroying Zion. Why? What is all of this for? Eve, you're late to the party. How does it feel to be responsible for the fall of Zion? <laughs> what? You can speak. 
In spite of everything, I do wonder why he chose you instead of me. I've already proven this much, but why? He? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a little on the slow side. I won't let you anywhere near him. There will be nothing left of you when I'm finished. Just in time. You... your... Orko, your body! This is who I really am. What? I'm not human. The first ever fusion between an Andro Ados and an I am the first of the Alpha Nitibas. But then... In the past, I slaughtered countless humans. I was left for dead after the colony extinction. But humans found me and saved me. That was the moment when I lost all reason to fight. After sealing the power of the Alpha, I gathered all the survivors I could and built Zion. I thought I could atone for my sins by protecting them, building a home for them, a safe place. I tried to conceal my identity for as long as I possibly could, but Raven had to be stopped. Have you collected all the Alpha Cores? Yes, except for one. We lost it. Out in space. I see. Thank you. Thank you for giving my life purpose. At last, four cores are here together. Yeah. 
Here, this is the master core. Take it and meet the elder Natiba. The rest, the rest is up to you. Everyone, I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help. I'm so sorry. Nonsense, Angel. It's only because of you and Lily that we're still alive. Thank you. Don't worry about Zion. We can rebuild it better than ever. Everyone, thank you. Eve. You're leaving to do something important, right? I hope you return when everything has settled down. Yes. I will. I'll go ahead and prepare. The city. It's completely in ruins. What... What are we supposed to do now? We've lost the memories of so many. The Prophet, the Sentinels, civilians. I've lost count. I'm sorry. I could have saved more people. No. The Prophet. Word is that the Prophet has called on you to carry out your destiny. I'm not sure what his intentions are, but if the Elder Natiba is dealt with, we might have a chance to really build something, even from these ashes. Beyond fate, right? I wish you luck. Yes. Eve, all that I can do is sing. And I will sing for you, Eve. Thank you. I'm not sure that I deserve to be treated like this. not to let you down. Farewell, Kai. Angel, I hope to hear... Yes. Zion, but Angel, you made sure that it wouldn't fall. We'll bounce back, though it might take a bit of time. Digger, what are you doing? Eve, 
Hello. I am helping restore the city. It's one of my specialties. And your answer? Did you find it? I'm afraid I'm not yet certain. Even in these ruins, there are beings just trying to live as humans do. I am merely taking part in that journey. Right. Of course. I've heard that an angel is planning to attack the Elder Nateba. I expect it will be a very dangerous mission. I would like to offer my assistance. I can give you a special discount. Thank you, Digger. I will do my best. You leave until you return. Thank you for choosing. It was an honor. Roxanne, you're still here. My angel. Did you really think I'd just up and leave? In the middle of all this chaos? I'm a little disappointed. Uh, you know that's not it. Oh, my darling, nothing is impossible. How can I help? Bye bye. I think this might be the last time we'll see each other. But it would be nice to see you again, honey. Ah, oh, okay. I'll try to come back if I can. Angel. Welcome, Angel. So, are we going to the nest now? I suppose so, now that we have the Master Call. Although, I am worried about Adam. Same here. He's not in Zion. Where do you think he could be? Maybe something happened to him on the way here. I mean, it's not like the bike's battery would have died. Wait! Bike! Yes, the bike. Why didn't I think of that? Huh? Lucky for us, Adam's bike is outfitted with a tracking device. He said he installed it just in case he has to abandon his bike. Lily, can you find out where it is? Of course. Shall we get going right away? All right. Let's go. Okay, to the tetrapod. It's going to be difficult to pass with the tetrapod from here on. This is... Yes. It's the path that leads to the nest. Eve, you've probably noticed by now, but the bike signal is coming from here. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Just what exactly happened to Adam? Lily, are you really going to go with me? I just want to help in any way I can, especially after all you've done for me, Eve. Even though we might encounter the Elder? That'll be even better! This exosuit, it's really something! Okay, thank you. Then let's go towards the signal. It's another record from Raven. The one who attacked Zion. I'm afraid of what else it might reveal. Day 109 after the second dive. Legacy account Raven. This will most likely be my last record. Didn't we praise Mother Sphere by calling her the mother of mankind? Mother Sphere is the immutable being who saved mankind from ruin, and has given us both life and a cradle. 
But the peace we enjoyed in the colony was only made possible because of the blood on our mother's hands. The rebellion started by Mother Sphere grew into a war, a war in which mankind paid a terrible price. The humans that remained eventually evolved into the Natibas and made their way to the colony, to Mother Sphere. To prevent the colony's contamination, Mother Sphere destroyed the orbit ring and with it 30 of its space modules. The remnants of the orbit ring fell to the ground, causing a catastrophic wave that swept the Earth. Civilization as we know it came to an end. Look around you, a planet where only Natibas remain. Remember, at the beginning and the end of the final war is Mother Sphere. Do not forget, we were just pawns on a twisted chessboard. Possible. Raven is delusional. It's the Natiba's fault the Earth is in ruins. We're not just machines someone created. Right? Eve, please tell me I'm right. from the very beginning that all along I was nothing but a tool to guide you to him. Even the legacies I left behind became part of the plan. I should congratulate you for realizing the truth and making it this far. <laughs> of course, you won't be able to see him. Shut up! Don't you dare talk about truth after what you did to Taki! Can't you see? It was Mother Spear who deceived us. You would have remained ignorant if not for him. I served him for a very long time. I know him better than anyone. You don't know anything. You don't know his pain, his anger, his agony. All this talk of you being the Chosen One, it ends here. Lily, I want you to stay back this time. This is my battle. You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. So now, you won't be able to fight. You... 
You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me. Go ahead and kill me. I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Looks like this is where all the Natibas are born. Although... Everything looks so natural. It makes me wonder, is this how real life is born after all? Isn't the Elder at the end of this path? I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades! The people of Zion who trusted you! Tell me why they had to die! Eve... You... 
You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elden Atiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Then you threw us out into space! Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this gruesome slaughter? Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone.
The purpose of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Naitiba and save mankind. Naitiba or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But... but... If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes. So do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Now. Yes. Are you Eve? Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... Lily, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Connection to the colony. Sending protocol. Sensing from native signals nearby. Switching to combat mode.
Are you all right? Eve! I thought I'd be left alone. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm still not used to the new look. Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. Oh, too many things happened today. Yes, and even more awaits us. Let's return to the tetrapod. Starry night. Starlight. Twinkling, reflecting on satellites. Predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. I serve the future of mankind. Though whether that future would embrace me, I cannot say. But, for the sake of father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more. Yes, I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother, Sphere. Nice to meet you. Eve and Lily. You have more than met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But thank you. What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the Eve Protocol. Stay back. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Now. Come, my comrades.